This is Kemp. Straight at Milligan. Now Fife. Robbie Middleby has uh, peeled away to the left-hand side, and that is the target for uh, Mark Milligan. And the header drops into the path of Corica in a bit of space. Does he pull back? Corica! What a start for Sydney! What a great finish by Steve Corica. The Melbourne defence undressed. Young Mitch Lang Langerak went underneath his body. And Sydney had the start at their big support demanded. Well, it's a mistimed header from Middle B. He's looking to play that to Janinho, but it puts Corica into a huge hole. He's got one thing on his mind. He drives forward. I think Langerak will be disappointed with that. Young goalkeeper on debut. Here's Corica. One thing on his mind as he pulls that. He goes straight for goal. Low and hard. And it goes under Langerak's body. Well, what makes that goal is he's positive. He picks it up and off he's gone. The young goalkeeper. Matthew Kent. Oh, that was an awkward one. I think he has come off the crossbar. Was probably intending that to be a cross, but uh, almost caught Clint Bolton out. And it was certainly a cross. That's a free kick, but what about that? Alex Bross chasing all the way back. Anyway, here's Hernandez with the free kick. It's a good one. Vargas sorts it back and. Oh, over the top by Caceres. Oh, what a chance. Clint Bolton's had a relatively quiet afternoon so far. Forced into action there. Caceres. Good little ball in and a little header just wide from Roddy Vargas. He's looking for that far post. Couldn't get a lot of power on it, but he could. did get direction. Half an hour played. Can Melbourne get back on level terms and put another little twist into the title race? Kemp's delivery. When it was too deep for Clint Bolton. Vargas again climbing highest. Now, Sydney have the chance for a counter. It's a foot race and Janino has won it. A little bit luckily. Brosk is in the middle if the Brazilian can find him. Sydney could be in for two here. Oh, and Musket. Just got back in the nick of time. He did, but he shouldn't have been able to. That's a wasted opportunity, and it wasn't a good ball from Janinha. Peter O'Leary gets us underway in the second half. And it's a massive 45 minutes in prospect for Sydney FC. Can they get the result they require to take them top of the table? If they do, of course, then they'll have to sit, wait and watch Adelaide against Queensland. Here come uh, Melbourne. No. Oh, it's an own goal. All tied up and one apiece. And right at the start of the second half, Melbourne are back in it and Sydney are shell shot. Well, Mark Milligan just sticking a foot out, trying to clear it. Disastrous start. Lack of concentration from Sydney. Ball going out to Nicky Ward. On the right hand side. Goes past McFlynn. Milligan gets his body shape all wrong. It's a regulation clearance. He should maybe be clearing this with his left foot. He sticks out his right foot and it flies past Bolton. Corica, he's managed to squeeze it through to McFlynn. Zadkovic left. McFlynn tries to go through to Janino. Great save by Langerak. Keeps Melbourne level. That's a great save. And a very good strike from Janinho. Hits it first time. Sydney is scrambling here. Also, hit behind. 2 1. Oh, the flag's gone up. The flag has gone up to save Sydney. It must have been tight. And Danny Also is denied. That was a decent finish as well. Credit to the referee's assistant. The flag went up early. Just one on by Broxham. Sorry, sorry, Robbie. Just wondering whether. John Cosmina might be thinking of a change of Santalab and Biddle on the bench. Santalab's been in good form. Scored some great goals. Well, I know he thought uh, Adam Biddle's pace could be of uh, use at some stage. 
This is Juninho, whose touch always causes problems. This is Brosk, away from trouble. Oh, what a finish! Alex Brosk! What a goal! And Sydney have their advantage back. 2 1. Well, there's no blame on Langoet for this goal. It's a wonderful finish from Alex Brosk. No reaction from Josh Cosmina. He'll want another one. But they needed this one. Juninho crafting away. Slips the ball to Brosk. Can't get the shot on. Moves the ball off centre. Works it onto his right foot. Not his favourite one. He doesn't try to get any power into this. He's going for placement. Moves it with his left foot and just angles this across Langerak into the far corner. That is a wonderful finish from Alex Bross. Well, the whole stadium on its feet. Cheering the whole home team, apart from the Melbourne fans, of course. And they've discovered their passion. Into the box. Oh, it's off the line by Melbourne victory. It might have been Popovich or McFlynn who got the final touch. Uh, I think it was Caceres who got it off the line. Great play by Roddy Vargas. Real tenacity under pressure. What about that for a ball? Archie Thompson. Hernandez whips it in. Also, Oh, how did he not score? How on earth did he not score? Corica's touch far too heavy. Oh, Archie Thompson on the break. Also, onside this time. Ooh. Good stop by Bolton, down low. He's gone for that near post, Danny Also. Well found from Archie Thompson. The flip, Popovich, Brosk, a bit too clever. Now Popovich is out of position, and Thompson is away here. Hernandez with a great through ball, in towards Alsop. Oh, that's a cracking goal by Melbourne. Two apiece, what a move. The classic counter, and it's tied up again. Great work from Archie Thompson. And that's the danger as you come forward. And they've left Hernandez in that hole in space all this second half. And he's hit some great passes, but this one, Archie Thompson, you weren't going to catch him from there. Great awareness. The run from Allsop, he's not going to miss that one. And Melbourne all square at 2-2. Archie Thompson get his head up there. Probably thought about going by himself. Mark Milligan asking for the referee's assistant flag there. It didn't go up. A little nutmeg from him, five on Hernandez. He's, Hernandez had an excellent second half. That's a good ball from Biddle. Here's Santalab, puts it on his favoured right boots, goes to grounds, appeals for a penalty, again not heeded. Player making a bad tackle. Now Archie Thompson's in behind, no foul on Fife. Or oh, Patafter, it's only beaten away by uh, Bolton. If they don't find a goal, going into the final match of the home and away season, it'll be Mariners 1. Jets two, Sydney three. Oh, and that's almost an own goal too. Oh, Good off. tip over by Langeret. <laughs> Flicked over Vargas. It was pretty comfortable flick over in the end by Langeret. Fife. 90 minutes almost up at the SFS. On a high octane afternoon. McFlynn helps it in. Oh, Melbourne not convincing. Middleby goes down. Brosk! Stopped on the line by Kemp. Santalab tries to force it home. What a and it just will not go over the line for Sydney FC. Sydney pushing, probing, desperate for a goal. Mitch Langerak and Melbourne. Absolutely solid in their resolve. Oh, that's beautifully worked by Hernandez and Thompson. They're away here. Hernandez is square. Thompson might not need him. Well, that was a bit greedy in fairness by Archie Thompson because that could and probably should have won the points for Melbourne.